The concepts of introversion and extroversion have long been of interest to both researchers and the general public. We knew our students were interested as well. They worried that introverts would struggle in the workplace and that extroverts would have all the advantages. We wanted to give our students some reassurance, but we can't. We found that the personality trait of extroversion is a persistent advantage in the workplace. It's small, but it's there. It's like someone getting a five-foot head start in a hundred-yard race. Extroversion isn't just about sociability, and introversion isn't just about wanting to be alone. We found differences in motivation, enthusiasm, and assertiveness, and those can play out in the workplace. Even if you're in a place where you'd think introverts would thrive, being an extrovert is still to your advantage. Particular areas of advantage include performing better in job interviews, being more persistent in a job search, negotiating better, leadership emergence, and leadership effectiveness. Even with this general pattern of results, there are some subtleties. For example, extroverts have a strong advantage in an unstructured conversational job interview setting, but the more structured the job interview is, the more that introverts tend to catch up. All is not lost for introverts, however. Introverts can learn to structure their day around when they feel more energy or more extroverted, and they can take time to recharge. We're continuing to look at some of these situations and find out if there are cases where introverts do indeed have an advantage at work as well.